Hello, and welcome to Misha's Journal Podcast, where I reveal what the Lord is saying through dreams, visions, and testimonials. Today's topic, Sealed in Purpose. I dreamt I was in a house. Um, It was my sister's house. And I was feeling a little uneasy about this um, because I wanted to be at home with with my kids. I don't know why. Um, In the dream, I just had had smaller children. And I just wanted to be in the house with them. And I was just kind of longing for that. I remember feeling that way. And so... We were talking about um, what we wanted to do uh, for our next meetup or gathering. And we were talking about Thanksgiving and how we were going to just all get together. And just um, even though it's a ways away, we were going to just go ahead and um, meet up uh, at Thanksgiving. We just plan like a potluck kind of thing on Thanksgiving. And so... Uh, I remember I was saying in the dream, I I said, um, or I was contemplating in my mind um, that I wanted a bigger house. And then I heard a baby cry. And I knew for some reason that that was my baby. So it was a new baby, and it was mine, and it was crying. So that means that it was born. It was already there. So... Um, I just had this dream early this morning. Um, this actually doesn't even start out with a dream. I just recently got this dream, like I said, just this morning. And so this, I've been fasting since from Rosh Hashanah all all the way to yesterday to Yom Kippur. So I've been fasting the whole 10 days. Um, I've been going through really intense spiritual warfare and I did not have anything planned. I didn't have a lesson planned. I didn't have anything planned. The Lord just kind of sprung this on me this morning (laughs) and he wanted me, uh, he kept nudging me to write about, he's like, he kept nudging me the whole week okay, I want you to write about this, write about them, like, write about what, Lord? I don't have anything. What do you want me to write about? Um, I had no scripture. I hadn't, he didn't give me anything to go on. And so finally, uh, yesterday during the day, um, I guess after my fast was over, he showed me a, a plane because I kept seeing... 737 the whole week as well, a whole week and a half, a week, two weeks. 737, and he showed me finally what 737 meant because I was looking at in scripture. As soon as I see numbers that the Lord is highlighting to me, I'll go to scripture and I'll try to look it for look for it. But nothing resonated, nothing felt right when I looked for scripture. So I asked him, I was like, Lord, what is it that you want me to write about? And he showed me an airplane and it was elevating. And so I was like, okay, he wants me to write about how we just got through a season of warfare and we have crossed over, so to speak. We've crossed over this, um, I don't know, it just, he kept congratulating me. Oh my gosh, this is this is a little uh, mixed and all over the place, but this is how it happened to me. So <laughs> I'm gonna give it to you how it get, how how God gave it to me. So like I said, I was fasting for the ten days, um, going through intense warfare oh, here and there. I finished yesterday um, sundown Yom Kippur. I finished at 6 p.m. I did the whole. T- I decided to do it like they do it. Um, the, the Yom Kippur, they don't, um, they do a dry fast. So I did that. I was praying, uh, the night before, I guess you do it from sundown 
the night before to sundown the next day. And so that's what I did. I I did, um, I was praying constantly. No water, no food. Um, the whole um, fast, <clears throat> excuse my voice. Um, I The beginning of it, I did a dry fast, or did a liquid fast. And so I did that for three days. Then I did six to six in the middle of it. Because I have, I don't want to um, <clears throat> jeopardize my health. And so that's why I did that. And so then I finished it with the last three days or the last um the two days prior I did a liquid fast and then I went back to a dry fast and so I'll do that if I'm doing a long fast I'll just take a few days and do something different okay so there has been and there was an incident that I'd like to share so my daughter came over because um, she's in college and she just she visits on the weekend sometimes. And so she came by the other day and she was just she's all in social media all the time. And so I just um, I don't know what's current, but through her, I know. <clears throat> and so she told me about how people were on cash up and there was a glitch and they were just going in and and taking money and so this I guess this glitch lasted for about a week that she knows um and people were just you know they were just like oh and somebody just somebody went on cash app and was like oh there's a glitch and on cash app and you can just take money you can take as much as you want so at the end of that we have the aftermath and that's what I saw I saw after it was over, I saw the people that had a negative amount in their bank account. Now, I saw people with uh, negative 8,000 in their bank bank accounts, negative 40,000, some people in the millions. There's just one guy, one person that I saw 47 billion. I couldn't believe it. And he said he didn't even spend much. He just got a couple things. And so um, from that, what I gather is that the amount that he took out and spent, it doesn't matter. They took the amount that he took out, negative the amount that he took out. It doesn't matter if they spent it or not. So this is a huge distraction. And this is a distraction of the enemy. And this is a a huge deal what makes you think that you're gonna take money from somewhere and that you're gonna just you know that you're gonna have to pay that back so there are thousands of people out there in deep debt now I don't know that I don't know how some of these people are gonna pay it back I there's some people with lower numbers but the fact that they even open their self open themselves up to doing this, <sighs> let me tell you what they did. They've just forfeited their inheritance. They drunk the Kool-Aid. They forfeited their inheritance. There is a wealth transfer about to happen. They've forfeited their inheritance and any um part of it taking part of it in any way they forfeited that that's what we're fighting for that's what we're doing that's what all this is about every episode that I've posted from bare light bare light one two three the last episode I think it was the last two episodes and then this one It's led up to this. This is... I just crossed over. I think that there are some people, judging from um, a gal that I listened to, she was just talking about that. She just posted a video this morning talking about um, uh, being elevated in the spirit. Same word that I got about the 737. 
wow, just, you know, they're, God's people are one accord. And apparently the enemy has everybody else on the, on their thing. And they're doing all, they're all on their accord. And they're, it's not the right one. It's, it's a bad one. They're in a bad accord. <laughs> this is not good. They've ruined their inheritance, their future. Any hopes. And it, it, and p- taking part in this in this transfer, this is just really unfortunate. God's been talking to a lot of different people about this for a while now, even for years. And he was, some people were saying <clears throat> that if your heart's not right, then you're not going to take part in it. And I see now. I see it. People are falling by the wayside to the left and to the right on the way to this thing. They're not making it. They better hope that one of their relatives or somebody that they know has their mind right. Because I know if my my whole family, I'm praying for them. And if a lot of them don't have their mind right, I have mine right. And they're coming with me. You know what I mean? And I, that that's what it's all about. It's about that one that you're close to. That, um, you know, that, that, that'll take care of you. <laughs> because I'm telling you what we're about to face is huge. And it's something that we don't want to be caught dead in. It's something that we don't want to be caught not being prepared in. It's going down, everybody. It's going down. We know this. We've been talking about it for a while. Okay, let me get back to this message here. Crazy, though. Mm -mm -mm. Millions in debt. The fact that if I even took... If I went in there just to see if it worked and took $5 and then decided in my heart that, oh, I'm going to take more, you're, you're, you've already lost. That's the point. You've already lost. That is, this is the, the big distraction from the enemy. That's just what, the, those are extreme, that's an extreme case. They're just doing they're fighting tooth and nail tooth and nail there was one day in between my fast that I got a little discouraged or I was just in a really I was just like I didn't want to one of the days I didn't want I didn't want to pray I didn't want to get up I didn't want to do anything I did it but I did it reluctantly and like not Now I usually do it. I don't know what was going on with me. And I got through it, but it was like in a complaining mode. You know what I mean? And the Lord was like, at the end of it, the Lord was like, okay, we're going to start over tomorrow. There's a new beginning tomorrow. You have grace today, but there's a new beginning tomorrow. I want you to do this again. And so I repented and I was like what am I doing isn't this the 10 days of repentance this is the the 10 days of repenting for everything that we did all year this is what this is if I'm complaining in the middle of this what am I doing so the the Lord has grace when we repent so um I'm not saying that those people that partook in that are just completely forfeited it with um, if they don't repent, (laughs) they just got to get it together. Maybe they can. I mean, Yom Kippur happened yesterday. And I'm telling you, when I was done with my fast, after I prayed that prayer, 
that last prayer. The Lord, um, I, I, I sit with him after I pray. And he, I, I saw this, <laughs> I saw these waves and this, these fireworks and it was purple. And he was like really congratulating me. He's kind of done this before, but not like this. And I was just like, okay, thanks, Lord. You know, I'm, I, I'm, I passed. Okay, I've, I've passed a test before. No, this is different. This is something different. <laughs> I don't think I know. I don't think I know. I have no idea. All I know is that I'm trying to be obedient, and it's something big. That's all I know. This is how the Lord made me feel about this whole thing. Okay, so let me go into after I ate. So after I ate dinner, so I prayed, spent time with the Lord, finished making my food because he let me go a little early. Um, he was very happy with me. I got all that, um, the whole congratulating and the fireworks. I got all that around like 4 or 4.30. So I, I finished my fast at six. I still didn't eat or drink anything until six, but he let me go. I was worshiping, listening to music while um, preparing my meal. I make it, um, things from scratch because I eat plant-based because um, I, I don't want to be sick. <laughs> I just, I've been doing this for years. And so it's just what I'm used to doing. So when I make my meals, I got to prepare hours in advance. So anyway, <clears throat> I wanted to make gyros. I wanted mashed potatoes instead of roasted potatoes. I just wanted what I wanted. And I was just about to feast. I was just so hungry. And a really good um, spinach salad. Cut up. I cut up uh, pineapples and avocado and put blueberries in it. I mean, I just went all out and did my thing. I cut up my onions. I just, in my, my um, sweet chili peppers, I, I cut those in there. I mean, when I when I make my food, I used to be a chef too, so I I cook. I know how to put it together, okay? <laughs> well, I know how to put my stuff together, and I, I make my gyros with uh, with garbanzo beans. So I, I I had to. I've been cooking those all day. <laughs> so when I say I, pre- I was preparing my meal all day, I was preparing my meal all day, okay? And then I made my um my my flatbread. When I make my flatbread, I, I put yeast in it and I let it sit and proof it. And, you know, and I, I put it on the, I make everything just from scratch. And so I really put my foot into this meal and I was ready to eat it. And I did. After I prayed, I was just happy. I was so elated. The Lord made me feel great. <laughs> so after I ate, I was stuffed. It was so good that I was trying to eat and eat more. While I was still stuffed and I could not just eat another bite. <laughs> I still have leftovers and I'm not ready to eat yet because I uh, try to eat only once a day. Um, so, so after I ate, I rested for about an hour, hour and a half. The Lord was like, get up and pray. <laughs> I was like, do you know I was in my bed? I was getting sleepy and everything. I thought that that was it. I was like, what? Wait a minute. So the Lord got me up to pray. He's like, get up and pray. I was like, are you sure this is... Lord, you want me to get up and pray? You, okay, you sure? Okay. Do you know it took me like two and a half hours? I went, I made me some tea. I mean, I, I, I had two black, two um, tea bags of black tea. When I make my tea, I make a, a, it's ginger, lemon, peppermint tea. And then I put my black tea in there to, to for the caffeine <laughs> with honey. So I, I got to make sure I put my honey in there. So I was just sipping and just trying to wake myself up. I did not feel like this, but I was just, I did it happily because I was like, Lord, I'm just, I'm just going to do it. What I'm going to be obedient. What sense does it make to get through all of that and not be obedient? So 
I went and I did it. I started praying. I prayed for two hours. Um, I I stopped, and then um, the Lord was just again with the fireworks. I laid down this time to uh, to rest and put the stuff away, cleaned up, and went in my bed. I was about to go to sleep. The Lord got me up after an hour, hour and a half. He's like, get up and pray. <laughs> he got me up to pray again. I prayed until about four, four something in the morning, like four, about 4.30, 4.45. I think that's when I finished praying. <laughs> yeah, yep. I was up all night praying. And so... After the after I was up all night praying and I finally went to sleep, <sighs> the fireworks again, but it was different. This time it was with scenery. It was I've, he hasn't done anything like this. Let me tell you how this felt. This felt like I did something so amazing, and he was really rewarding me for this. He was really rewarding me for getting through this. This is not, I've passed different tests before. I've done this before. He's never done it like this. I don't know what I did. I'm telling you now, I don't know what I did. I don't know what I passed. I can't even tell you, but it was, it's great. We're all the body of Christ. We are in the same boat. We are getting the same thing we are in we are this is not just for me this is us this is why the message is called sealed in purpose (laughs) we are officially sealed we have crossed over we are in our, our goshen we are in there we are there right now right now right now let me tell you okay so I went to sleep he woke me up with a dream or I woke up from having the dream I just explained I was too tired to get my notebook and write it down so I texted it to myself I went back to sleep the Lord was just he was like get up I want you to he wanted me to he was so eager for me to get up like um I think it was around um I think it was three hours later after I went to sleep he woke me up three hours later and he was like, get up, come on. And I was like, Lord, please give me like, give me a little bit. I'm so, I'm exhausted. So he gave me a little bit. <laughs> Slept for five hours. I was like, okay. He was getting me up. It felt like, this felt like parents that are about to surprise their kid with Disney World. This is how the Lord was treating me. It felt like I am, this is something's different about today. This is not, this is, I woke up into, like I've, I've labored all year and I'm finally getting, like I, like I, like I felt like a kid that did hard work all year and just did it. And then finally, my parents are surprising me with Disney World. You know how kids feel about Disney, Disney World. (laughs) That's why I have to say it like as a child. Like a, like super excited. I'm like, what did I just cross into? What did I just do? I don't even know. You guys, we don't know. He hasn't even told me everything. He's so, he's, the Lord is so excited. He's so excited. He's like, get up, get up, get up. (laughs) He's like, go on, pray, pray, do your spiritual warfare. I'm like, okay, Lord. All right. So I do my two hours this morning. Um, I, I, I write down my message. I'm writing down the message that I'm telling you right now. He's like, okay, get up and go pray again. (laughs) like wow he's like he's doing that again okay then you know I rest a little bit he tells me again to pray I just got done praying um 
before I recorded. I just got done praying for this for that um, third time. So he keeps doing this, and he's just I I am kind of getting revealed a little bit um, as I go what all this is, and I know that I I crossed over into um. Let me see what I wrote down. Okay, let's see. Okay, for he's... Okay, let me see. All right, so... The baby in the dream. Okay. We all know that that means um, ministry or... It just... It means something big, okay? Threes. I was seeing threes yesterday. I've been seeing fours, twos and fours, open doors, double doors, okay. Um, and twelves. The last thing that I've seen besides the 737, I've been seeing twelves. Now I want to read that scripture and I'm going to close with this. <clears throat> Let me see what this twelve. So he gave me... Oh, I wrote the scripture down. I wrote the whole scripture down. Um, Oh, uh, he gave me Psalm 37 because I couldn't find the 37 that he was talking about. I looked everywhere but here. So Psalm 37, I am the salvation of the people, says the Lord. Should they cry to me in any distress, I will hear them and I will be their Lord forever forever um sevens the sevens that i saw this is what i wrote down were completion fullness restoration and wholeness the twelves that i found um that that he was showing me are divine order upgrade a shifting into kingdom so basically 12 12 when i see that because before that i was seeing 11s when you see 11s and then 12 um you're transitioning you're transitioning Um, And then it's the changing of the guard. You're about to be promoted. So 12s mean you're in your promotion. We're in, I'm in my promotion. We, if we're, um, because I know people are passing their tests on different days and and the Lord is urging me to put this out early. So I'm I'm not going to wait till tomorrow to put it out. I'm going to put it out today because he's urging me. There's some people that are still um, struggling they're probably struggling. They're still because I had to um, call some people that I know and tell them, hey, um, like my sister, my younger sister, she is she drunk the Kool-Aid and was going through some stuff. And I told her what's going on. Do you know, you know, I, sh- I put my hands, so to speak, on her and just shook her and said, hey, get it together. <laughs> and she she's like, OK, 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 God, let me get it together. So I think that's what the Lord is doing with a lot of people. He wants us to win. He wants us to prevail. He does not want to trick us. The enemy wants to trick us and the Lord wants us to prevail. So um, get on your knees, repent. Don't worry about your mistakes. Get up. We all making them. We're all we've all made them. It doesn't matter. Get up. It depends on how you finish. How you finish is what's important. And he says here in Psalm 37, I'll read it again. I am the salvation of the people, says the Lord. Should they cry to me in any distress, I will hear them and I will be their Lord forever. We are his. We belong to him. He loves us. We, he is our father. He's our loving father. He wants us to succeed. He wants us to prevail. And he and it doesn't matter if um, you didn't do whatever in the, the timing. He is saying, hey, this is the, the windows not closed. The door is not open. You still have open doors. You have time. I want you to do this right now. I want you to get up. I don't care how you feel. I don't care what's going on around you and what the enemy's trying to make it look like. Whatever uh, uh, distractions, because that's what's going on. It's distraction city. It's distraction central. Whatever you've done, I want you to put it down and I want you to get up, dust yourself off and go and do and be obedient and, and repent, lament, um, re- be remorseful from your heart, 
from your heart and then move on, move on and then take, uh, take that L and then, and then finish with the win, finish with that W. And that's what, that's basically what this is about. So, um, you need, if you need, uh, anything from the Lord, Psalm 37 is what he highlighted. I want you to write his word on your heart. He wants to elevate you. He wants to bring you up and he wants you to have this. He wants you to have all he wants us all to, to be at, uh, on it at the same time. So that's what this is about. Get that W, get that win, and let's go. Let's do this together. I'm rooting for you. I'm praying for you. All of, all of the Lord's saints, I'm praying for you. I'm rooting for all of you. I'm praying for the, for the church, for the body of Christ to be strengthened. We need each other. We need to pray for each other. We need to make sure that we are on the same accord. Um, I, we're all about to do this. We're about to do it. So don't be discouraged. Don't let your circumstances get in the way. Don't look at anything. Though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we see it, but it's not going to hurt us. It's not going to touch us. Write his word on your heart. Read Psalm 37 and write it on your heart. Okay. Anyway, I just... You know, that was Holy Spirit speaking just now. Oh, Holy Spirit, when he's speaking like that, it just flows so easily. Oh, thank you, Lord, for everything. I just want to, I want to leave out with prayer. You know, I don't think I do that too often. Lord, I just give you all honor, praise and glory. I thank you for who you are, what you've done and what you're going to do. I ask you to forgive us for any and every transgression, for any and everything that we've done, said or actions, Lord, any and everything that we've done, said or actions, what we've done in our sleep, any agreements with the enemy that we've made. I renounce it. I renounce reverse break, release and loose us from it right now in Jesus Christ's holy name. I pray that uh, we repent. We, I, forgive us, Lord, and we forgive those that ever hurt or harmed us in any way. In Jesus Christ's holy name. And I pray, Father, for you to seal us in your blood, soak us in your blood, uh, help us to um, uh, to forgive those that we have a hard time forgiving in Jesus Christ's holy name. Let us move past all the stubbornness. Let us move past all of it because it's not worth it in Jesus Christ's holy name, Lord. And I pray, Father, for you to seal us in your blood, seal us in your in your purpose and destiny. Help us to walk worthy. Help us to uh, the, the, to uh, instill the fear of the Lord, instill the spirit of the fear in the Lord in us, so that we can move and 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 persevere and get to our W, get to our win in Jesus Christ's holy name. Seal us in your purpose, your purpose, destiny, and not the enemy's, Lord. Don't let us fall to the left, to the right. Don't let us fall behind or go before you, but have us right there in the middle where we're supposed to be in Jesus Christ's holy name. All right. And with that being said, in Jesus Christ's name, yes, yes, yes. With that being said, the Lord is always speaking, even if we aren't listening. What is he speaking to you? And I will talk to you next time. Take care. Bye.